we'll just start with our breath, noticing anything that's going on within our minds, within our emotional body, within our physical body. Breathing, notice your positioning. If you are slouching or leaning forward or leaning back, notice if you're holding tension in the shoulders or the jaw or the eyebrows. Notice what your hands are doing, what position they're in. We'll take five more breaths. Bring the hands together at the heart. Set your intention for your practice today, whatever it is. Release that gently. Let's take um, the two pointer, the pointer and the middle fingers together um, at the temples. So we'll just do some nice circles in the temples. Take it under the jaw, like kind of like under the um, cheekbones and at the jaw. With jaw massage, it's good to do both sides at the same time so you avoid putting pressure um, in one direction. And with neck massage, it's good to do one side at a time. Let's go ahead and do that. Oof, the space right behind the jaw, underneath the ears, that can be um, a lot of uh, like tight tightness. All right, one side of the neck at a time. I'm just gently massaging down kind of the front and side of the neck with my hands, um, my fingers at the back. Just kind of like kneading it. Other side. A lot of tension gets held up in the neck. Take both thumbs to the back of the neck at the um, very top, where you have that kind of hollow space. 
If you tilt your head um, slightly back, it'll probably become a little more hollow to feel that space. And then just, I'm doing like little circles down the back of my neck with both fingers, both thumbs, down um, a kind of muscly area at the back of the neck. Great, let that go. Let's do some shoulder rolls. And I wanna thank you for being here. Thank you for inspiring me to be here. Some cat cows, waking up the back. Nice deep breaths. I could always just do cat cows for so long. Roll the shoulders down the back, reach the arms up, side to side, bring them up. Good, good. Push out side to side. Reach up, inhale, and exhale, push out. Let that go completely, roll the shoulders. Take one hand forward, stretch your fingers gently back towards you. So I try to figure out what makes the stretch more. And with this position, if you take your elbows and rotate them in, so they kind of like rotate the, the elbow down, that would uh, maybe intensify the stretch. Take the thumb, stretch it out to the side and back. Fingers down, stretch them towards you. And let's see, this also rotates in, interestingly. Good, other hand. Thumb. Thumbs are interesting to try to stretch because they're, um, it's not the easiest position to find. And fingers down towards you. Great, let that go. Um, go ahead and change your leg position if you like. And a few more cat cows like this. Reach up side to side, we're coming to forward fold. Relax, forward fold. Three breaths. Bring the hands behind you, press down and lift up your heart. Draw the shoulder blades down the back, draw them towards each other. Two more breaths like this, lengthen through the front body, draw your navel in, lift it up. One more breath. Great, let's go ahead and come into table, keep moving through your cat cows.
All right, let's push up to down dog. Tuck the toes, lift up your hips. We'll be here about six breaths. So rising here. More length through the spine, lifting up through the tailbone, bending into the knees. Two more breaths. Good. Soften your knees down. Roll your weight forward into your knee plank. Lift up your feet, move your ankles around. Knee plank, elbows facing towards the back of the mat. And go ahead and lower all the way down. Start your cobras, warming up little by little. Maybe the first one's just the toes. The second one is the toes and the legs. All the way up, each time building on the toes. As you're breathing, inhale, lift up the heart, exhale, lower down, elbows on back. If you lose that connection with the feet, start over. If you lose the strong connection with the legs, we start over. One more inhale to lift up. Exhale, lower down. Push up to down dog. Stretch your right leg up. Move it around if you like, any movement. Change legs. And we'll step all the way forward. Come to the front of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees to forward fold. Relax the head totally towards the ground. And halfway lift, reach the top of the head forward. And exhale, forward fold. One more time, create some space and length. Exhale, forward fold into it. We'll be here for three breaths, relaxing into forward fold. Nice space in the back of the neck. The next inhale, bend into your knees, slowly rise up. Use that, for, that uh, front body core strength. Reach up your arms, bring it into the heart space. Press your hands together and relax your arms to your sides. Here we are, mountain pose. Take a breath. Rock a little forward and back on your feet. So I'm lifting my heels and then lifting my toes. Kind of get into the feeling of your feet inside and outside. Feel your arches, feel your toes. Play with lifting up just the big toe. Keep the big toes grounded and lift up the pinky sides. Good, just ground in, stand in your mountain pose for one breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale into forward fold. Good. Halfway lift. Take your right foot to lead into plank pose. Just 
Strong legs. Breathe. Lower down. Ooh, cobra pose. Exhale, down dog. Really get to know the end of the breath. So the space between the exhale and the inhale. Where you can find stillness in your position. Stillness within your mind. Take your left leg up, move it around, stretch it out, change legs. And step all the way forward. Halfway lift when you get there, exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, relax. Draw your front body in. Here we go, rise up, open up to the sky, bring it into the heart and stand in mountain pose. Inhale, reach up, here we go again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to your half lift, left foot leads to plank pose. Great work. In your plank, keep strong. Your knees can be up or down, of course. You also, if it helps you in any way, use your forearms instead of your hands in planks. We're all different. Try lifting up your right leg. Doesn't have to be a lot, just maybe an inch or two. Change legs. Nothing else changed, just the toes lifted up. Exhale, come down all the way. Cobra pose. Exhale, down dog. Stretch your right leg up. Exhale, step that foot forward. Come up through crescent lunge. Here we are. Practice flying forward. So warrior three airplane. Exhale. And land in your mountain pose. Come into your first chair pose, sinking in, front body strong. Great work. Awesome. I see intentional hands. Every screen that I see, everyone's doing something like specific, whatever it is. I love that. Rise up, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, take your right foot, step it back and come up into crescent lunge. Lower your hands down, step back into plank pose. Lift up your left leg a little bit. Hold it, breathe. Other leg. Exhale, lower down. Cobra pose. Inhale in cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left leg, inhale, lift it up. 
Exhale, step that foot forward, rise, crescent, lunge. Fly, warrior three, airplane. Warrior three has the arms forward. I think, I think technically. And land into mountain pose. Gorgeous. Into your chair, exhale, lower down. Steady breath, smooth jaw, smooth breath. No problem. Great work. Rise up, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, take the left foot back and come up into crescent. Lower your hands down, step into plank pose. Lower your knees down, knee plank. Shift the feet over to the left, side plank with the shins down. Squeeze your legs together. Energize like your side body's being lifted up to the sky causing your shoulder and your hip to become closer together. Maybe little pulses, allowing it to just lengthen out through your um, lower side body from the knees all the way, oh, I just threw my earring, through the top of the head and then lift up a little bit more. So it's just the slightest bit of movement, not allowing the shoulder to drop out at all. Just little pulses lifting up the hip. Great, change sides. Keep your jaw soft, keep your breath smooth. Exhale, bring that hand down, lower all the way down. Cobra, inhale. Exhale, lower down, come to down dog. Reach your right leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Take your back foot into your warrior one. Get into that sense of flying again. Fly forward, warrior three, airplane. You can have your arms back, forward, or maybe out to the sides if you like. I like back because it's helping to strengthen my upper back and create more space across my chest. Lower your back foot back into warrior one. That's usually something that we all could use a little more of. Do it again, fly. So it's like the arms and the chest and the upper back are in um, are kind of in mountain pose, really. Land that foot down, back into warrior one, arms up. And one more time, fly. One line from your back heel to the head, wherever that line is whatever angle it's at. And land your foot down into warrior one. Arms up. Awesome, lengthen out your leg into your pyramid pose. Few more breaths here.
And we're gonna shift the back foot back into a long lunge. So lift up your back foot, the front knee bends, land the toes down gently, and I scooch my back, back, back until my front knee is over the heel and my back leg is as far back as it could be comfortably. Now into a twist, heart twist towards the front knee. Another breath. Exhale, lower your hand down, step back into plank pose. Great. Lower down all the way. Cobra pose. Exhale, lower back down. Push up to um, a knee plank. Knee plank. Now take the tops of the feet, anchor them to the mat, lift up your knees, up dog. So there's a long sloping line from my top of my head, rolling through my back, all the way into my feet. Exhale, push up to down dog. So one foot on top to the other one. There we are. In up dogs, I like to really check in with the low belly, how it's supporting the low back so you're not dropping your low back. We love our vertebrae, <laughs> we love our discs. Take your left leg up. I love your discs. <laughs> Left leg up, three leg dog. Exhale, step that foot forward. Take your back foot into warrior one. Three times to fly. You might be working with just lifting the back leg as you come into your warrior three airplane. And you might be Bringing the foot a little closer first. Lower your foot down, warrior one. Fly. The difference in that back hip, warrior one rotates out slightly, warrior three is straight back. So there's a rotation back into level. Exhale, foot down. One more time. Awesome, lower your foot down, arms up into warrior one, into pyramid. You can take your time with pyramid. Maybe slowly folding over the leg, walking your hands down the leg. Use blocks or any sort of prop to um, support your hands if that helps you. This brings the ground up a little bit. We'll be here for some breath, so settle in. Uh, bend that front knee, take your back foot all the way back. So lift it up, rotation, just like when you move from warrior one into warrior three, vroom, toes down. Find that long position, long lunge into your twist. Awesome, lower your hand down, step back, bring your knees down, and just come up to a kneeling position. Let's take a moment. And bring the hands to the low back, maybe give it some, some love.
Anchor your hands at the low back. Draw your pelvis just a little bit forward. We're not doing camel, we're just kind of doing this setup with a back bend. Lift up the heart, shoulders back, pelvis forward. Draw your low belly in, draw your navel up. And this is a lot like our up dog. Come back upright, bring your hands down. And let's just do a couple of cat caps. Good. All right, step back into your plank bow. This tricky thing I've been working with lately, left hand on the ground, we're twisting the right arm to the sky, but the legs can pretty much stay in their plank. My hips wanna rotate a bit and that's okay. This right hand down, my left hand lifts up. So we're working through the obliques, the twisting the muscles of the side body, other side, go with your breath. Exhales, lower the hand, inhale, inspires your arm back up. You can do this, rest as needed. One more time. Awesome, lower your hand. Lower the knees, lower all the way down. Make a little cobra. Exhale, lower the heart, lower the head. You can use your hands to make a little pillow. Bend your knees, windshield wipe the legs side to side, let it go. All right, we're gonna try that up dog again. Hands under the shoulders, push up to your knee plank. Tops of the feet press down. You can have space between your feet, about hip width. And lift up the knees, lift up your low belly. One long, beautiful line of energy. Exhale, lift up your hips, down dog. Step forward. Now I wanna come into a little froggy squat. So heel toe the feet open, the toes and the knees open in the same direction as we sink in a bit to our squat pose. Free to all use like, I don't know, like a little stool or a little extra blocks or anything if this isn't quite right for you. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna do some circles in the wrists because that's a lot of, of pressure on the wrists. Using the elbows to keep the legs propped open, support. All right, nice and slow, rise up. Direct the heels back as you come up, knees forward. Sometimes I have to take a moment and let my lightheadedness settle. So let's stand onto one leg and um, do a little quad stretch. This is the part where I care more about um, actually getting a quad stretch in than balancing. Not that I don't care about balancing, but use a wall if, if that is um, useful for you.
change. I hope that makes sense that we can focus on, you know, balancing in a standing balancing pose is, is quite important. And that's where we might be working with just like the toes down or, um, you know, like a modified version of the pose. But for here, I really wanna get into, get into the muscle. I'm playing with knee out, knee down positions just to see what feelings come up, where they come up. Great, thank you. Shake that out a little bit. Let's do a little tree pose while we're here. And then we'll open up on the mat. So hug your knee up. And open. For example, this is one where I want to focus on the sense of balance. The arms. I'm going to bring the hands together if you like overhead. You can't see mine, but they're there. I promise. Change. Beautiful work, oh my gosh. Check into your standing foot. Check in, check the energy lifting up through the inner leg. Pelvic floor is lifting, tailbones hugging gently underneath you. Low belly in, ribs are in and secure. Foot presses into the leg, leg presses back. Pelvis is forward. Arm position of your choice. Awesome. Beautiful. Let it go. Ah, oh, make me so calm. Uh, so let's go ahead and just step out wide on the mat and get the um, wide forward fold. And we'll be here for about six breaths as well. So if there's something that feels really good, your body is asking for. more breaths. Bend your knees and come up. Open out towards the right for your warrior two position. I don't want to do necessarily a lot in these um, in this part today. But we'll just come into warrior two for a breath. Come into side angle for a breath. Reverse your warrior. Into triangle. Back into warrior two. Just 
see how slowly you can sync up with your breath. So the nice slow movement, side angle. Full breaths. That pause between cycles. Reverse up and over. Triangle. Just sliding through movements. Back into warrior two. We're doing that one more time. Just to get the sense of slow, peaceful movements. Side angle, inhale, you can reach your arm. Exhale, settles you in. Reverse up and over. Inhale, exhale, settle in. And inhale to change triangle. Gorgeous. Bend your front knee, come back up and parallel your feet back into your wide forward fold. You can reach out side to side. Stretch through the back and the shoulders. Come up through center. Open out the other way. We're going to go through all of that on this side. So exhale, settle into your warrior two. We'll be here for a breath. Inhale, transitions. Side angle. Exhale to settle into that. Reverse warrior. Triangle. Awesome, bend your knee, warrior two. Side angle. Reverse warrior. Triangle. And an extra breath in triangle. One more time through that cycle. Bend your knee. That side body strength, it's incredible. Side angle. Reverse warrior. And triangle. Oh boy. Soften your hand down, bend your knee, rise back up and back into your wide forward fold. Stretch your arms forward, draw your hips back, breathe into the heart and soften. Good. Walk your hands back underneath you. Let's see. I just wanna go back to the front of the mat here. So um, 
walking the hands around, swiveling the feet, we are gonna end up facing in a long lunge towards the front of the mat. So I'm just doing this little walk around with my hands, drawing both feet into place. Long lunge, facing back to the front of the mat. Lower your back knee down, swoop your arms up to the sky. Get into different angles of depth to feel different things through your back leg. So if I lift up high, I might find a different stretch than if I was to slowly draw forward. Take the hands down. We're gonna take a twist with, um, with the quad stretch. So walk your front foot out a bit. Bend your back knee and reach for your foot. Slowly come out from here. Walk your front foot into place. Got to change sides here. So let's take this top, this front foot all the way up. Three leg dog, move it around as you like. If you want a um, scorpion, wild thing, anything. And just gentle settle that foot down, bring the other one forward. Back knee down and swoop your arms up to the sky. Again, we can play with the angle of depth. Into the twist and quad stretch. So bringing the foot out a little bit to the side might help make space for your torso and your pelvis to twist. Awesome, gentle, let that go. Again, this side, you bring your leg up and back however you want. Bring the foot down and lower the knees. Come back to child's pose. Walk your hands towards the right, stretching through your back and shoulder. Other direction. you center. One more breath in your child's pose. Big breath. <sighs> Just make our way up to a seat. And uh, a com any comfortable seat to start. I'm gonna do our side stretch up and over. Spring one hand down, bend the elbow as you reach up and over. 
He rests to find a lift and reach. And change. Similar to um, back bends, where we want to think about our length to avoid dropping into one kind of area. And let that go. Come into your butterfly position, forward fold. Come up, take your left leg forward, the right leg over that into your twist. So my foot's down, knee and toes, same direction as always. One hand behind in our twist. Although either I'm hugging the knee or to the outside. Open palm, back hand is supporting the length of your spine. Extended leg is grounding. Exhale to rotate out, change sides. Uh, rotate out. Let's see, take the legs into a big V shape. Um, support your seat with a pillow if that helps you. It definitely helps me to keep from tilting my pelvis back. So this is like our right forward fold, reach up, exhale, reach towards your toes, hold on anywhere along the way. Then the elbows, I'm drawing my head forward. Let's walk your hands up. Take your right foot, bring it in to the leg and lift up, fold over your other leg, extended leg out. Up the hands up, change sides. And up. Let's go ahead and lay down. Hug the knees and massage your back. Bring the feet down into your bridge pose. Lift up your hips. Exhale, lift up your heels, roll down. 
into figure four, left leg up. Cross at the ankle, figure four. Come out and change sides. Exhale, come out. Come to happy baby. A little time here. Bring the feet down and um, we're gonna do eagle arms. You can choose to do eagle legs or recline butterfly or of course daydreamer pose. So eagle legs, we would cross one knee over the other and squeeze them in, hook the ankle if you can. Otherwise, maybe butterfly legs or daydreamer where the feet are on the ground and the knees are together. Eagle arms, cross over the heart, cross at the elbows and maybe at the wrists. Press in and feel your shoulder blades. Change your arms, you might even change your legs. If your legs are an eagle. Let go of the arms. Unravel the legs. If they are in any position, go ahead and come out of that position. Take your arms and legs up into bear pose. And finish up with a recline twist. And take any twist that you like. We can settle in.
change direction. And we'll come out, hug the knees back in. Take any last movements or poses. We'll come into our Shavasana when you're ready. 